Hi, this is Steve Austin with Call Banker Sunridge in the Roseville and Rockland.com team. And today we're with Desiree Pointer, our new home specialist. And we're going to talk about the upgrades you want the builder to, to do or the ones you want to do later on new home sales. Right, right. So typically when people go out to a new home builder, builders are offering, you know, tons of choices. Uh, so what I recommend is having, you know, a must-have list, a wish list, and a can-do later list. Uh, so must-haves... Typically, you want to have anything structural you want the builder to do, of course, uh, and then also plumbing and wiring. So plumbing, a lot of times the plumbing goes uh, is in the foundation, mm -hmm. you know, in the walls of the home along with the electrical. So if you want to plumb for a gas fireplace, you want to have a gas fireplace outside, mm -hmm. you want to have an outdoor kitchen, have them plumb for that because it's just much easier to yeah. um, get that connected if it's already there instead of having somebody come out and, and also and i've even seen now where it's plumbing you used to say plumbing but where right. it's a third bathroom option right that's always worth the money i think right. to have a third bathroom or an extra bathroom compared to the half yeah and, and with that i i kind of you know sometimes you don't need a full third bath a mm -hmm. half bath will do just fine yeah. and that's typically in a single story home you yeah. don't really need three full baths if you only have you know three bedrooms, but that half bath always helps. It's always nice to have another toilet yeah, when you have guests definitely. over. Keep one clean, they'll have to keep the whole thing There clean. you go. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's funny though, because you go in there and there's so many upgrades and it can be overwhelming, right. like a doorknob. Oh, you wanted a doorknob? Well, that's more, that's an upgrade for a doorknob. What builder are you going to? <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm not going I'm there. just joking. But there's also, I worry that sometimes you, you can over upgrade and it's right. important to have an agent to tell you what you right. want to upgrade and not right. upgrade. Because there's some communities where the guy next to you might have had no upgrades. And right. if you have $100,000 worth of upgrades, when that one goes and gets resold, right. it hurts your value Correct. due. So you want to have sort of an upgrade that has some sort of everybody doing a basic or a nice standard right. package. Right, and you always find, you know, now that builders have had to kind of cut back on what they're offering standard, mm -hmm. you know, you, you do need a pre-wire for a ceiling fan in the mm -hmm. bedrooms. Most people are going to do that because it is beneficial. Like it's hot in Roseville, yeah. Rockland, yeah. Lincoln. So... Um, th that's what's important is those things that you may not um, think of now, yeah. but you really should. Yeah, and uh, one thing where they gouge prices, and you, you talked about it on your house before to me, but it's the flooring. Like right. when the bathrooms go vinyl and then later right. upgrade. Right, so that's what we did. We saved probably you know $10,000 by just doing the basic package mm -hmm. and then having somebody come in and do the tile work. And you can lay the tile right over the vinyl. Mm -hmm. It's very simple to do. Another good thing to upgrade is cabinets because most builders, when you upgrade a mm -hmm. cabinet, it's going to upgrade the entire house. So to do that afterwards, that's number one, a huge yeah. mess and really, really expensive. Yeah, and the upgrade is less than going and buying the new cabinets right. a lot of times because if you're going to Oak from wherever you're going to, it's way exactly. more cost effective. Exactly. And the most important thing is that you know that everything's negotiable. It's good to have right. a real estate agent that knows what's going on in the communities and even outside that community what other offers are building. Because we can go to one developer and say, well, this builder offered us right. this. Right. Can you match that? Right. Um, but one thing about upgrades too is there's an upgrade you really want. Sometimes it's good to have it in the financing. Right. Um, so it's cheaper, so it's different ways. There was a one period, and I don't think they're doing any more, where they would let you upgrade uh, finance their pools in the loan. Right. I don't know if we're seeing that as much. but <laughs> some, some of the builders, like higher-end builders I yeah. see are doing that. Yes, you want a pool, we'll build you a pool, just yeah. buy this house. But, yeah. you know, that's not typical of, you know single family homes, you know, yeah. that are in the three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar range. But I thought you were gonna be in the million dollar range. Oh, right? not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, give us a call anytime. I'm Steve Osram. My number is 916-308-2446. And I'm Desiree Pointer. I'm at 916-259-3377. And our website is rosebellandrockham.com. Thank you very much. Thanks.